They are fighting to protect the water on their territory half a country away. So on Monday, their third day in Ottawa, they paid their respects to the river that flows through the city with an Algonquin water ceremony. It was also a chance to reconnect with the source of their struggle, the protection of the environment so central to the traditional life of the Innu and Inuit in Labrador. Us as Labradorians, we rely heavily on, um, on wild food, country food. So uh, myself, Billy and Jerry, myself, Billy Gautier and Jerry Kohlmeister um, found it, found that sacrificing our lives for the good of many um, was a good cause. But most of their day was spent with politics to push their cause with MPs. It seems like you're asking a very reasonable, straightforward request. Yes. And their position is, well, we've got to save some money so if it means poisoning Maybe your territory, yeah. Yeah. The, the we, we will... Yeah, yeah, and that's just not acceptable. No. That's not, the, the project started at uh, $6.2 billion and now it's over $11 billion, yeah. and it's years behind yeah. schedule. And because yeah. of this, we feel that they're just trying to save money yeah. in order to, to just get this done quickly. And it's... it's, it's it's going to poison us. It's going to end our culture and our way yeah. of life. He also met with their local MP, Yvonne Jones, who is also Parliamentary Secretary for Indigenous Affairs. As far as uh, uh, I'm concerned right now, it seemed to go rather well. Uh, we certainly expressed all of our opinions and concerns. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens from here. Okay. Did she reassure you, give you any promises? Um... She assured that, uh, how do I say this, uh, uh, that she understands our concerns and uh, uh, that she realizes that uh, uh, what we're doing actually is, is quite important and that she will, uh, she will do the best that she can. That's, that's, what she, that's what she's told us. Jones ducked APTN's cameras after she initially set up a time for an interview. The three hunger strikers also got to watch question period where their issue hit the floor. The Nunatsev government is asking that the project be delayed until these issues are addressed. Is this government going to listen? We expect the province will meet its responsibilities to ensure the health and safety of Canadians. We're encouraged that Premier Ball will be meeting with local Indigenous peoples. Our government will continue to make our scientific expertise available to inform discussions between Newfoundland and Labrador and Indigenous governments related to the Lower Churchill project. Things have been heating up in Labrador. Protests against Musrat Falls Hydro Project have led to RCMP raids and arrests. The rallies have spread across the country, and one was held in Ottawa Sunday. What's going to happen with this dam if they don't clear the vegetation? We're losing our future. We are losing our fish. We are losing our seals. We are losing our birds. We are losing our game. We are losing our way of life. And they promise to keep on fighting. And I guarantee... We will just keep on going. We cannot stop. We will win. And our people, all of our peoples, should be able to live on the lands in our traditional ways and actually be able to keep our pride because our pride is what's keeping us standing and our pride is what's going to keep us standing in the future. Jorge Barrera, APTN National News, Ottawa.